Hey, my name is Maddie, and I wanted to start doing a TTC vlog. Um, my husband and I just recently decided that we're going to start trying for a baby. And um, I've looked at tons of YouTube videos about other people doing their vlogs and all that stuff. And it seemed like it'd be a fun way to document everything and just, you know, talk it out and stuff. So um, I kind of just wanted to start this up. This is technically our second month of trying, although I wouldn't really call it that because the first month, last month, um, I had gotten off the pill a month before and my cycle was trying to regulate and all that kind of stuff. And um, so I didn't really know when I was going to ovulate. And it turns out that that happened when he was on a business trip, he was doing training and Las Vegas, and I was up in Ohio visiting my family. So we totally missed last month, 100% missed it. So that didn't happen. But, um, so that's why I kind of say it's technically our second month, but not really, because we didn't get a fair shot last time. So. so this is our real first month of being together, kind of, around that time, so that's good. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on what people do, and you know, when they're trying to get pregnant and all that stuff, and a lot of it's a little overwhelming. Um, I'm not doing basal body temperatures or anything like that, really, to try to track ovulation. Um, I have been using little OPK, the little test strips that, actually, my friend got them online. She let me have some because I bought the pregnancy test online, so we did a little swap and, you know, shared. Anyway, so I've been using those, and... Um, it was kind of unfortunate this month, though, because the day that my OPK was the strongest, I wouldn't say it was quite a positive. It was like 95% there. Um, I, that was my last strip, and I couldn't get any from her until later the next day. So I have a day that I'm pretty sure I ovulated. A lot of signs and symptoms pointed to that. So if, if that is correct then that would have been on, uh, I pulled up my fertility friend. If you guys are trying to conceive, I would highly suggest the fertility friend app on your phone because this thing is awesome. Um, but yeah, so I probably ovulated on the 14th, which would be cycle day 15. Um, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't really get a full positive. And the next time I tested, it wasn't that strong anymore, which was later the next day. And the first time I tested was early in the morning on Friday, I guess. Um, sorry, my dog's going to be annoying the whole time because he loves attention. Um, so yeah, um, we're not really doing anything too crazy trying to conceive I guess like I, I'm trying to keep it as fun and just unstressful as possible because I've pretty much heard from everybody that if you're trying so hard and you're stressing yourself out it's probably gonna take longer to get pregnant because your body doesn't do well under stress and can make things harder so I'm trying but, you know, obviously it's hard when you're trying to conceive. You have a million things going through your head all the time, and you can't stop thinking about it. You know, you're always like, okay, well, I wonder what's happening today with my body, and what should we be doing, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, it's been interesting. It's been fun, though. Um, I'm trying to think of anything exciting or different that we've tried. Um... I guess I was watching some videos on how to do the fertility massages, which I have no idea if that's a load of crap or if it works. I don't know. But um, I watched videos on how to do the ones where you massage your stomach a certain way or like your abdomen and then you put the castor oil packs on it, which I didn't have castor oil, so I didn't do that, which I think is the main part because it's supposed to like flush everything out. But I still did the massaging and stuff like that because... <laughs> But nothing else, it felt good, so that was kind of cool. Um, and then, as far as like baby dancing goes, I, we do it every single day anyway, whether we're trying or not. And I know that sounds like a lot. And when you're trying to conceive, a lot of people say every other day, Can you stop? 
<laughs> but I mean, that's our normal schedule is every day. And if we miss a day here and there, sometimes that happens, but that just feels right for us. And so that's what we're doing now. So unless we would learn that, you know, he has a something wrong with his sperm or a low sperm count or something, then we will just continue to do that. I mean, not going to hurt, I guess. So that's good. Um, so hopefully, even if I didn't ovulate that day, hopefully we didn't miss it. I mean, we couldn't have missed it that much. I was actually a little worried today, though. I'm on cycle day 20 today. And I had some cramping and stuff, and I was worried. I was like, well, maybe I'm ovulating now. <laughs> Because I usually get a little cramping around the time I ovulate, which I'm pretty sure I did Friday as well, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, I was worried that maybe that was going to happen today, and he's been in the field. He's in the Army, so he does a lot of training where you're going to go to your crate if you don't stop it. Um, he does a lot of training stuff because of where he's at, and um, he's at least in town this time, but... It's overnight training, a lot of it, so I haven't seen him since Monday morning at, I don't know, like 5 in the morning or something, and it's Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So, hopefully that's not the case, that I would be ovulating today, because then we'd probably miss it again, due to work, again. So that would be super disappointing, because we really would only have one more month to try before... He goes out of town, and then he deploys right after that. So we're really trying to get pregnant before that happens, but that puts a little more pressure on us because we have this month and next month, and then that's it. So um, we're trying. We're doing our best, I guess. We're not, like I said, we're not doing anything too crazy, though, like taking temperatures. Not that that's crazy by any means, but just, I'm like I said, I'm trying to just be relaxed about it right now unless we're having a problem then obviously I'm gonna have to do a lot more stuff to figure out what's going on um it's kind of hard because I still don't have a regular cycle from stopping my birth control and that's really obnoxious because I don't know what's going on when when like when anything's gonna happen it's just I have no idea which is kind of normal because even before I started birth control I was never on a normal cycle so that's why I think it might be a little difficult for us. I hope not. I pray that it's not going to be difficult, but um, you never know. So we just have to hope for the best and hope everything goes well. But like I said, today is cycle day 20. So I'm in my two-week wait, I think, hopefully. I don't know. Um, so by the 30th, I should know if... AF is going to come or not. That's the day that it says it should come. But again, I don't really have a normal schedule, so that could be totally off. So we will wait and see, but I have like a million pregnancy test strips. So I'll probably start around maybe 10, more like 12 DPO. Just start testing just to see. I know you really shouldn't do that, but let's be honest, we all do. So we're going to probably do that, but I'll probably do another update around that time and see what's going on. But uh, it's nice to be in this community now. I look forward to getting to know some of you ladies and, yeah, talking about things and all that kind of good stuff. So baby dust and all that stuff to everybody. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.